the fossil fuel king by Clinton York. Once upon a time, in a land not so far away, the world was plagued by the terrible curse of king fossil fuels. He made the skies dark and the air thick with pollution causing the people great suffering and the fish animals, insects, and birds to disappear. The evil fossil fuel king ruled with an iron fist and no one had ever dared to oppose him. Then one day, a hero appeared. A young prince named Net Zero who came from the kingdom of wishful thinking that was powered by clean renewable energy sources. Net Zero vowed to rid the world of the curse of King Fossil Fuels. He was accompanied by his trusty sidekick Greta, who was a fierce warrior for the environment but talked a lot and I mean, a lot. They were aided by three super-powered fairy helpers. Solar not all day, windy sometimes, and battery boy. They all had magical powers that could harness the energy of the sun, the wind, and the earth's natural resources. One day, they heard that evil King Fossil Fuel had now cruelly invaded every neighboring kingdom and was burning the blackest of coal, the dirtiest oil, and the smelliest gas to power his machines of war. He was polluting the air, water, and land with his emissions and destroying the forests and wildlife. He also kidnapped the princess of the kingdom of terrible energy tariffs, who was Net Zero's cousin and locked her in his dark forbidden castle known as the Fortress of No Hope. Net Zero couldn't take it anymore. He decided to set out on a quest to defeat the fossil fuel king and bring about a new era of clean energy and rescue the princess. Net Zero asked his fairy helpers, Solar, Windy, and Battery Boy, to use their magical powers to harness the sun, wind, and electricity which they did to create a trusty steed for their expedition. It was a five-seater bicycle that could fly and they called it the trusty five-seater flying thingy me bob fly cycle. It was yellow and black and was the fastest traveling steed in all the kingdoms. They decided to set out immediately as they knew the journey would be long and perilous. They also knew they would face many challenges along the way. They had to navigate treacherous mountains, cross dangerous poison rivers, and battle fierce evil deformed beasts that fossil fuel had unleashed. But they persevered, and they finally managed to fly across the sky on the fly cycle until they reached fossil fuel's castle. When they arrived they saw smoke rising from its chimneys and heard loud noises from its despicable smoke engines but still managed to creep and sneak inside. And luckily they found their way to the dungeon where the princess was held captive. She looked so pale and weak from breathing in the polluted air. How sad they all felt for what King Fossil Fuel had done. To free the princess Solar used the blinding power of the sun to melt the iron bars of the princess's cell. Windy used her wind power to blow away the guards. Battery Boy used his electricity power to shock fossil fuels machines and disable them. Eventually they freed the princess, defeated the prison guards, and ran towards the exit. But Fossil Fuel had noticed their intrusion and was waiting for them at the gate with his army of dirty poisonous soldiers. Stop them, he shouted. They are trying to ruin my evil plans. But Net Zero and his companions were not afraid of Fossil Fuel and his evil castle of despair anymore and they fought and fought. Fossil Fuel ordered his soldiers to fire their black poison guns at them. But Net Zero fought hard with the Sword of Cleanliness deflecting all the bullets of poison. Greta shouted with all her might, How dare you, pulling many faces that frightened the soldiers. Solar used his solar power to create a shield of light that deflected their poisonous bullets. Windy used her wind power to create a tornado that swept away their enemies. It was at that moment when all seemed to be going wrong that Battery Boy was confronted by the Fossil Fuel King himself but was beaten back. Fossil Fuel was a fearsome creature, with eyes that glowed like embers and a voice that thundered like the roar of a furnace and a smell of all things dirty. 
he was even louder than Greta. But Net Zero and his companions stood firm, and they fought with all their might. Then Battery Boy used his electricity power to zap fossil fuel again. Fossil fuel screamed in pain as he fell to the ground. His crown fell off his head and rolled away. Net Zero picked up the crown and chopped off King Fossil Fuel's head causing a jet of oil blood to shoot out. This made all the rest of the soldiers frightened so they surrendered. Net Zero was king now, the Fossil Fuel King was dead and finally gone for good, and they all cheered at his demise. It had been a long and hard battle, but in the end, thanks to Battery Boy's final 1 gigawatt zap our intrepid heroes were victorious. Net Zero and his companions cheered hip hip hooray hip hip hooray fossils had its day hip hip hooray. They had defeated the fossil fuel king and freed the world from his curse. The skies cleared and the air became fresh and clean once again. The people rejoiced and the animals, birds, insects and fishes all returned as if they had never gone. From that day on, Net Zero and Greta, Solar, Windy, and Battery Boy became the heroes of the land, and they continued to fight for the environment. The fairy helpers Solar, Windy, and Battery Boy continued to work their magic, providing clean energy for all. And the world lived happily ever after, free from the curse of the evil King Fossil Fuels. The End Or is it just the beginning?